welcome to Narrow Boat Chef. Today we've got another cooking video for you. Today we're doing beef pies with pureed peas and polenta chips on the side. You say pureed peas but it's mushy peas. Basically mushy peas. Mushy. Fancy mushy peas. <laughs> and we're just using the short crust pastry that we showed you in the last video to make the, the pastry base. Now we're using puff pastry in the top to get a bit of a flaky top on it. We're not making that from scratch because puff pastry is a pain to make, unlike... Yes. It can take quite a lot of time and a lot of effort. Yeah. And it does work. work out much cheaper just to buy it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we don't have that much enthusiasm. No. <laughs> we're filling the pie with leftover beef stew. Let's get cooking. <laughs> Let's get cooking then. video you would have seen us making short crust pastry uh, really simple and easy to make and we used it to make quiches mini quiches we're blind baking it in the oven same as what we did with the quiches um, but we're going to bake it for longer because it is in a ceramic container and it will take a bit longer to heat up through that uh, for the polenta we're using a pre-made pre-cooked polenta that's already in a packet Mainly because A, we've just been a bit lazy. It's just ease of use. Um, it's the probably the most commonly found polentas in most of the grocery stores. So you just cut it up and then bake it or fry it. We're going to be frying it in the pan. So next we're going to do the mushy peas. We're going to start by putting a few handfuls of frozen peas into some boiling water. We're just going to blanch them just to heat them up. We're not going to actually cook them. We still want the bright green color in them obviously. We're going to strain them of all the water. Make sure it's not too much um, moisture left in them. We're going to put them in a container. Put a little bit of butter, salt, pepper, a bit of mint, a bit of cream. We're going to blitz them all together. Just be quite careful with the polenta chips because they do tend to spit quite a lot and you will burn yourself if you're not careful. Ryan's already got me twice. <laughs> Didn't burn myself though. <laughs> Priorities. <laughs>
you can hear the wind. It's uh, it's quite windy it's night. Quite a windy night out there tonight. So that's okay. our winter pie. It's pretty much a leftovers meal, to be honest. Is this leftover stew, leftover shawcross pastry, a bit of puff pastry we had left sitting in the freezer, polenta that was just pre-made we had sitting left over from when we had your mum over, wasn't it? Leftover cherry tomatoes. And um, the only thing that we really actually had to get out is just the peas. So yeah, it was. Um, it looks amazing. It's a really nice simple. looking leftovers meal. Yeah. <laughs> And those of you who are wondering, that is just a balsamic glaze on top of the polenta chips. And didn't film the tomatoes, but they are, it's just been a little bit oiled, a little bit of salt and pepper, and, and in just, the oven for a couple of minutes. To yeah, just about the same amount of time that we cooked the pies for, really, after we after filled them. After we filled them, yeah. <laughs> so let's try. I like the balsamic. <laughs> You're supposed to eat just for the balsamic. I like balsamic. <laughs> that pastry is really good. Yeah. I know I said it last time when we did the other pastry, but <laughs> I can make some damn good pastry. Mm. <laughs> so we are going to enjoy our dinner and leave you guys jealous. <laughs> if you've liked the video, uh, please give us a like. It really helps support us. And don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, subscribe if you're enjoying the videos and want to see more cooking videos because you're going to see them anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye.